The deepest place on Earth holds secrets that could reshape humanity's understanding of life itself. Seven miles beneath the Pacific Ocean's surface, where crushing darkness reigns supreme and pressure would instantly obliterate any unprotected human body, lies the Mariana Trench, our planet's final frontier. Yet this alien world, once considered beyond the reach of human influence, now bears the unmistakable fingerprints of civilization's impact. What explorers have discovered in these abyssal depths challenges everything science believed possible about life's limits, but their findings also reveal a disturbing truth that threatens the very foundation of our ocean's health. The story unfolding in the Mariana Trench represents both humanity's greatest exploration triumph and its most sobering environmental wake-up call. Picture descending through layers of ocean where sunlight dies completely, where temperatures hover just above freezing, and where the weight of seven miles of water above creates pressure over 1,000 times greater than at sea level. This journey into the abyss represents more than scientific curiosity. It unveils the hidden connections between Earth's most remote ecosystem and the survival of every living system on our planet. The quest to reach the bottom of our world began with courage that bordered on madness. In January 1960, Swiss oceanographer Jacques Picard and U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh climbed into a steel sphere called Trieste, a bathyscaphe designed to withstand the unimaginable forces waiting in the deep. Their destination was Challenger Deep, the deepest known point in the Mariana Trench, plunging to approximately 35,800 feet below sea level. The descent took nearly five hours through increasingly hostile waters. As Trieste dropped through the midnight zone, its hull groaned under mounting pressure. At maximum depth, the craft's thick steel walls faced pressure equivalent to 50 jumbo jets pressing down on every square meter. Through their small porthole, Picard and Walsh glimpsed something that would rewrite scientific understanding. A flatfish swimming near the seafloor, proving that complex life could survive in conditions previously thought lethal. Their 20-minute stay at the bottom represented humanity's first direct contact with Earth's deepest realm. The achievement stood alone for over 50 years, a testament to both the technical challenges and the extraordinary depths they had conquered, yet their primitive equipment could only scratch the surface of the abyss's mysteries. Decades later, filmmaker and explorer James Cameron would bring Hollywood precision to deep-sea exploration. On March 26, 2012, Cameron descended to Challenger Deep in his custom-built submersible Deep Sea Challenger, reaching a depth of 35,787 feet. Unlike the cramped Trieste, Cameron's vertical torpedo-shaped craft was designed for scientific observation and sample collection. During his solitary three-hour mission at the bottom, Cameron collected soil samples and high-definition footage that revealed the seafloor as a barren, almost lunar landscape. His sophisticated lighting and camera systems captured the first detailed images of this alien terrain, showing fine sediment stretching endlessly into darkness. The samples he retrieved would later reveal microscopic life forms thriving in conditions that would instantly kill surface organisms. Cameron's expedition demonstrated how advanced materials and engineering could extend humanity's reach into the abyss. His submersible incorporated foam syntactic that could compress under pressure without imploding and LED arrays that could illuminate the perpetual darkness. These innovations paved the way for the next generation of deep-sea exploration. The most comprehensive exploration of the Mariana Trench came through Victor Vescovo's ambitious Five Deeps expedition. Between 2019 and subsequent dives, Vescovo piloted the DSV limiting factor to multiple locations across Challenger Deep, achieving record depths including 35,853 feet in 2019. His titanium-hulled submersible, certified for unlimited dives to full ocean depth, transformed deep-sea exploration from rare expeditions into repeatable scientific missions. Vescovo's repeated visits allowed for systematic mapping and biological sampling across different areas of the trench. His team's sonar mapping revealed that Challenger Deep consists of three distinct pools, with the deepest measuring approximately 36,200 feet. These precise measurements, combined with extensive sample collection, provided unprecedented insight into the trench's geology and biology. 
The technological advancement from Trieste to limiting factor represents a quantum leap in human capability. Modern deep-sea vehicles incorporate materials like titanium alloys and specialized ceramics that maintain structural integrity under extreme pressure. Advanced battery systems provide power for extended missions, while fiber-optic tethers enable real-time communication with surface support teams. Each expedition revealed that the deepest parts of our planet harbor life forms that challenge fundamental assumptions about biological limits. In the crushing darkness of the Mariana Trench, evolution has crafted creatures that seem borrowed from science fiction yet represent some of Earth's most successful survival strategies. Amphipods discovered in the deepest trenches, including species like Hirundalia gigas, have evolved remarkable adaptations to survive pressures that would collapse surface organisms instantly. These small crustaceans produce specialized proteins that prevent their cellular structures from deforming under extreme pressure. Their bodies contain high concentrations of trimethylamine oxide, a compound that counteracts pressure-induced protein damage. The deepest living fish ever recorded, Pseudoleparis species discovered at depths exceeding 26,000 feet, possess transparent, gelatinous bodies that distribute pressure evenly throughout their tissues. Their bones have become cartilaginous and their swim bladders have disappeared entirely. Adaptations that would be fatal at surface pressures but prove essential for deep ocean survival. Microbial communities in the trench represent perhaps the most extraordinary examples of life's adaptability. Pyrococcus yayanosi, discovered in deep sea hydrothermal vents, thrives at temperatures exceeding 250 degrees Fahrenheit while simultaneously withstanding crushing pressure. These extremophiles derive energy from chemical processes rather than sunlight, representing completely independent ecosystems that function without any connection to surface photosynthesis. Barophilic bacteria found in trench sediments have evolved unique cellular mechanisms that not only tolerate extreme pressure, but actually require it for proper metabolic function. When brought to surface pressures, these organisms cease functioning entirely, highlighting how perfectly adapted they are to their extreme environment. The technology enabling these discoveries represents engineering marvels designed to operate in Earth's most hostile environment. Modern submersibles like the DSV Limiting Factor utilize titanium pressure hulls manufactured to tolerances measured in millimeters with curved surfaces that distribute pressure evenly across the entire structure. Autonomous underwater vehicles deployed in deep ocean research incorporate advanced navigation systems that function without GPS signals using acoustic positioning and inertial guidance to map the seafloor with extraordinary precision. These robotic explorers carry specialized sampling equipment that can collect sediment cores, water samples, and biological specimens while operating under crushing pressure. Deep-sea cameras and lighting systems must withstand pressure while providing illumination in absolute darkness. LED arrays enclosed in specialized housings can penetrate hundreds of feet through water, revealing the alien landscape of the abyss. High-definition video systems capture footage that allows surface scientists to study deep-sea behavior and ecosystem interactions in unprecedented detail. Pressure-resistant sensors measure temperature, salinity, and chemical composition throughout the water column, providing data essential for understanding deep ocean circulation patterns and their role in global climate systems. These instruments represent decades of materials science advancement, incorporating specialized alloys and ceramic components that maintain functionality under extreme conditions. However, the most shocking discoveries in the Mariana Trench have nothing to do with exotic life forms or geological features. Instead, they reveal the terrifying extent of human impact on even the most remote places on Earth. The deepest parts of our planet, once considered beyond the reach of human influence, now contain clear evidence of industrial civilization's global footprint. Microplastics have been discovered throughout the Mariana Trench, including in the digestive systems of amphipods collected from depths exceeding 35,000 feet. These tiny plastic fragments, smaller than 5 millimeters, represent degraded remnants of everything from shopping bags to synthetic clothing fibers. Their presence in the deepest ocean trenches demonstrates that plastic pollution has contaminated every corner of our planet's marine environment, 
Research published in 2019 identified microplastics in 100% of amphipod specimens collected from six different deep ocean trenches, including the Mariana Trench. The concentration of these pollutants actually increases with depth, suggesting that deep ocean trenches act as accumulation zones for the world's plastic waste. Currents and gravitational settling transport these contaminants to the seafloor, where they become incorporated into the food web of Earth's most pristine ecosystem. Chemical pollutants present an even more disturbing picture of human impact. Persistent organic pollutants, including banned chemicals like polychlorinated biphenyls and flame retardants, have been detected in tissue samples from deep-sea organisms. These compounds, many of which were banned decades ago due to their toxicity, demonstrate the long-term persistence of industrial contamination in marine environments. Perhaps most unsettling is the presence of anthropogenic carbon-14, a radioactive isotope produced by nuclear weapons testing during the 1950s and 1960s. This nuclear signature has been detected in the shells of deep-sea organisms, proving that even the most remote ecosystems on Earth bear the chemical fingerprints of human military activity from over half a century ago. Heavy metal contamination, including elevated levels of mercury, lead and other toxic elements, reflects industrial emissions that eventually settle into deep ocean sediments. These pollutants bioaccumulate in the food chain, potentially affecting the health of deep-sea organisms that have evolved over millions of years without exposure to such contaminants. The presence of these pollutants in the Mariana Trench raises profound questions about the interconnectedness of Earth's environmental systems. Deep ocean trenches were once considered isolated from surface processes, yet they now contain higher concentrations of certain pollutants than many coastal areas. This contamination pathway suggests that human impact on ocean health extends far beyond visible pollution in surface waters. Understanding why the Mariana Trench matters requires recognizing deep ocean systems as critical components of global environmental stability. The deep ocean plays an essential role in regulating Earth's climate through thermohaline circulation, the global conveyor belt of ocean currents that distributes heat and nutrients around the planet. Changes in deep water chemistry or temperature can disrupt these circulation patterns, potentially triggering dramatic shifts in regional and global climate systems. Deep sea trenches serve as carbon sinks, storing vast quantities of carbon dioxide absorbed from the atmosphere. Sediments in these trenches contain carbon accumulated over millions of years, representing a crucial component of the global carbon cycle. Disruption of these deep sea ecosystems could potentially release stored carbon back into the ocean and atmosphere, accelerating climate change. The biodiversity discovered in deep ocean environments represents an irreplaceable genetic library that could hold keys to medical and biotechnological breakthroughs. Enzymes from deep sea organisms have already led to advances in industrial processes and pharmaceutical development. The loss of these unique ecosystems would eliminate potential solutions to humanity's greatest challenges before they could be discovered. Deep sea trenches also serve as natural laboratories for understanding life's limits and possibilities. The extreme conditions found in these environments provide insight into how life might exist on other planets or in early Earth conditions. This research contributes to astrobiology and our understanding of life's fundamental requirements. The contamination of these remote ecosystems demonstrates that ocean pollution is not merely a coastal problem but a global crisis affecting every corner of marine environment. The chemicals and plastics found in the Mariana Trench will persist for decades or centuries, potentially affecting deep-sea ecosystems for generations. Current conservation efforts face enormous challenges in protecting deep-sea environments. The vast scale and remoteness of these ecosystems make monitoring and protection extremely difficult. International waters governance presents additional complications as no single nation has authority over deep ocean areas beyond national boundaries. However, recent technological advances offer hope for better understanding and protecting these environments. Autonomous underwater vehicles can now conduct long-term monitoring missions, tracking changes in deep-sea ecosystems over time. 
Advanced sensors can detect pollution sources and monitor ecosystem health remotely, providing data essential for conservation planning. International cooperation through organizations like the International Seabed Authority is developing frameworks for protecting deep-sea environments from mining and other extractive activities. The growing recognition of deep ocean importance is driving policy changes aimed at preserving these ecosystems for future generations. Research initiatives are also focusing on understanding how deep-sea ecosystems might adapt to changing conditions. Climate change is altering ocean temperature and chemistry even at great depths, potentially affecting the unique organisms that call these environments home. The story of human exploration and impact in the Mariana Trench serves as both inspiration and warning. Our technological capabilities have advanced to the point where no place on Earth remains beyond our reach, yet this same technological power has consequences that extend to the most remote corners of our planet. Future exploration missions will continue revealing the secrets of the deep ocean while monitoring the ongoing impacts of human activity. Advanced submersibles and robotic systems will provide unprecedented access to these environments, enabling research that could unlock solutions to global challenges while documenting the changes occurring in Earth's final frontier. The protection of deep-sea ecosystems requires recognizing that our planet's environmental systems are interconnected in ways that transcend geographical boundaries. The contamination found in the Mariana Trench demonstrates that there is no away when it comes to pollution. Everything eventually reaches everywhere. The deepest place on Earth has become a mirror reflecting humanity's impact on the entire planet. The choice facing our species is whether this reflection will show destruction or stewardship of the remarkable world we inhabit. The abyss beyond the abyss calls for humanity to match its exploration achievements with conservation commitment equal to the extraordinary life it has discovered in the deep.